Can I avoid the water this time? And I, I, th I think I can. <laughs> if I can just do that. But yes, uh... Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last episode we, uh... Finished up with Space Junk, and uh, in this episode we are going to uh, continue on with the Fountain Dome. And uh, even though I think this galaxy was the first one to be unlocked, I think I might just go with this one. Since I kind of like the um, thing I'm going with of doing the uh, one star galaxies after the um, three star galaxies. So, uh, yes, let's go. I... don't... think I like Battle Rock, but, uh... Then again, it has been a little while since I've done this, so, uh, yeah. Also, not to mention, uh... There's a somewhat infamous, um... Mini game, I guess you could say. Here and uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if everything goes to plan, we will be seeing the first instance of that this episode. Just uh, go around the gum beetle. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that um, English is the only um, language where its name doesn't refer to um, Helmet in any way. <laughs> it's like, what? Although that being said, uh, English being the only language that doesn't do anything, or doesn't do the thing, is a... Kind of stand, 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 Considering that our word for pineapple isn't, or doesn't follow the, um, normal mean for the other fruit, or well, in other languages. Stop it. Um. I'm not sure, but I want to say that, um, the Hunger Loom in the Fountain has, needs 600? I want to say? Because I get the feeling that, um... The Observatory Hunger Loomers have an increase of 200. Up to a point? I want to say? Uh, we'll, we'll see when we get to the um, higher ones. Um, but yes, uh... <laughs> I've kind of started playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga uh, in my free time, and uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's like uh, playing the game with like an extra controller feels nice, since uh, Every time I played the game beforehand, it was on an emulator where I was using the keyboard, and, uh... I wasn't really able to get the, um... Timing right on things, so uh, that was fun. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I feel like, so far... From what I've played, it's been pretty aimless. It's like... The main collectible wasn't even really shown until like halfway through the game. It's kind of weird. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about um the main combat thing you do being um using the bros attacks since like once you get the bro attack um doesn't look. There's not really any reason to use the normal moves, so it's like, what? I think there's more stoppers over here that I missed. Um. Heh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just forget him. Because of, like, the um, comparison I can have, or I guess the easiest comparison is like, 
constantly using the um, specials in Paper Mario games. It's like, even once you unlock them, you still have a reason to um, use your normal moves. But um, in Mario and Luigi, the only really, well, the only real reason you have to use a normal move is um, if you don't have any badge points. So it's like what? <laughs> and I also don't think I like how um, in the upgrade menu, how if um, or like, it doesn't remember what you've last upgraded. Like, the um, thing is always back at the top, so it's like... Really annoying to have to remember what, you, what you've what lost upgraded. Especially if you're not upgrading all six stats, I want to say it is. Like, if you're only upgrading a select amount of stats, um, it is kind of annoying to remember. Since, like, I'm choosing to upgrade... The HP, BP, um, attack, and mustache points. So it kind of feels weird how um your BP you can just upgrade. It's like yes, that's how that worked in Paper Mario, but like it just kind of feels weird. Since like um. Could be wrong, but I'm fairly sure um, that unless you upgrade your stat of that stat yourself, you never get a, a badge point increase normally. So it's like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? So, not to mention having your critical hit chance being a stat you can upgrade. <laughs> Kinda feels weird. And also, um, the fact that there's a difference between critical hits and lucky hits, um, critical hits just mean super effective. It's like, what? That's, that's not how things work at all. At least in my Mario, po a Pokemon brain. Okay, man, whatever, um... I want to say this dude is dirty. Could be wrong, though. Um, we'll see. Okay, cool, it is dirty. Um... Also, I don't think there's a way to view your enemy's HP. Like, I did watch Chuck O'Conroy's Let's Play on the game, but like, I don't remember if there is a way to view it, because like, <laughs> getting used to like a game like Paper Mario or um, the stats of enemies are like lower, or like much lower than normal, it's like, how much do I need to do here? Not to mention some of the bosses can go on for, like, f way too long. It's like, um... I would have enjoyed the Cackletta fight that you do initially, but like, no! <laughs> Not only does it go on for way too long, but, um... Again, you can't see how much health she has left, um... I wanted to get this. How exactly do you get that one up? Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention she does that. Um. I want to say it's random when she does the um multiplication thing. And you'd think since the game is all about looking at tells to see what attack you need to be dodging, um, or like which brother you need to be dodging with, uh, 
And the game doesn't really go to, like, the attack where Kekleto duplicates doesn't really have a tell. It's, like, random. <laughs> Not to mention, um... You don't really have a spread attack, I want to say. Unless the bro attack for the, um... Hand abilities is a spread attack. But I doubt that it is. I don't, I'm not I'm not sure. But yeah, uh I I guess until I finish Super Stuff Like I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm not sure though. I want to see get the double. Since it... Okay. Since it is possible to get that in one hit. I want to say? Or maybe it's that it's possible to um land in the launch star without... Like, land in the launch star easily. Okay, I'm just vigorously shaking to see if I can get this. Okay, cool, I can. But yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sure. It's like, am I just doomed to have the only Mario RPG that I like playing beating the Paper Mario games? Okay. Although, that being said, I would be fine with that. Since, uh, <laughs> they can be pretty much replayable, as much as, as you like, really. Since, uh, in the first two games you can do a lot with, um, your setups and shit. In fact, I'm kind of thinking of doing, um, a hammer-only run when I let's play Thousand Year Door. Since, uh, I am pretty much garbage at any of the other action commands that isn't the normal hammer. <laughs> like, so it would be like, hey, fuck shit, he, like, I'm forcing you to improve on these. Do it. Um. I'm debating on whether or not I want to go to the Hidden Star next, or the third one. Uh, yeah. I think I'll do the th oh, like, alpha thing where I'm... If I find a Hidden Star, I'll do the main mission, and then I'll go do the Hidden Star before doing, or moving on to the next mission, really. I think. Um, I'll just cut back to the Luma, so see you then. With a ton more star bits in hand, thanks to the chain chumps, let's uh... Go do some garbage disposal in the most explosive way. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I can do the well, this one pretty easily. Could be wrong. Um, yeah, the main or like the secret to doing this easily is to um line the bombs up with these coin buttons. And if you do that, you get them pretty easily. I want to say. That was totally off. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, the timing is pretty strict. Uh, <laughs> since the bomb take a while to blow up.
Okay, that was fucking garbage. I want to say if you get pretty much flawlessly, you get like one extra shot. I want to say that's pretty much perfect. I want to say. Okay, good. <laughs> that was not too hard, but uh, the next one, which we won't be saying in quite a while, uh, yeah. So I want to say this is like the only mini game in this game where if you fail you don't die. The rest of them you do die. It's like what? <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe it's the only mini game in the entire 3D Mario series where that happens. Huh. So I just realized that um 64 doesn't oh, didn't really have any mini games. <laughs> I guess the closest you could get is um the button catching. And even then that's like very much loosely, I guess. Oh, right, okay, um... These auras don't really have do a good job of showing the, uh, bottom. Oh yeah, you could just reach up to that, I guess. That makes things a little easier, I suppose. <laughs> so I want to see if you can make that with a long jump, because I think you can? I want to say, and I think you can just make this as well. The fact that those things are like have gravity to them kind of makes things easier. Like if it was just like one side, like one side of platform, then I guess things would be harder. Okay, get the extension and uh, knock that guy into that. And if the shortcut's the only way to go, would you really consider that a shortcut? <laughs> like what? Like would you? Huh. I kinda wanna go jumping into that ravine. Although I'm not sure what the nearest checkpoint is. So, uh, against my, um, inferior judgment, judgment, I won't do that, and, uh, you can actually get through this entire thing without changing the gravity. It's pretty awesome. That. And then I can just do that. <laughs> And also, I think... Sunshine aside, this might be the first instance of getting crushed. And, uh... Unlike in other games, getting crushed is an instant KO. Yeah. So yeah, you really don't have much health. But then I really want to notice, like, I really want to know if you can get crushed in... Sunshine. Because they removed the um, swamps and stuff. Actually, uh, but that's getting crushed sideways. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna say it might be possible to get like a frame perfect long jump there or something. But yeah, like, um, uh, yeah, that sideways squashing, I don't think that counts. Say. It's 
kind of weird how, like, different Mario Sunshine really is. <laughs> huh. Uh, stub, it's around here. That's good. Um... There's what I kind of consider to be a massive waste of star bits, considering that, uh... I want to say for the most part, the, um... Galaxies and missions you find him in, you... Oh, there's already a, um... Life Mushroom already in the level somewhere else. So, like... Can you tuck it... Did the thing. Okay, good thing you can, uh. <laughs> all the hit for those is pretty low. Um. And not to mention, at least in this game, um. The fact that starbits are not only really plentiful, but, um, give you a life at 50, uh, <laughs> kind of makes the life mushroom, or the one-up mushroom, even, of that it helps, even more useless. Not to mention, I think, he sells them for, like, 30 each, I want to say. So, yeah, uh... <laughs> Don't go to the Luma shop. And, uh, I guess let's finish off <laughs> Battle Rock Galaxy this episode with, uh, a new type of comet that, uh, depending on the level, can be pretty hard. There's a few instances where it is, um, And I might be jinx jinxing myself here, but I don't think this is one of the harder instances. I want to say. And because you don't actually have to play the entire level over again. You just have to do the, um, boss fight. Oh, let me get, like, really lucky, though. Okay. Okay, and that's one hit down. Um. Okay, let's get out of the way because I'm fairly sure if he lands on top of you, that is also a hit. I want to say. And uh, yeah, that's the mission. It's already over, so, uh, yeah, not really all that difficult. Okay, we got most up to 1000. Cool. <laughs> and so, uh, I think next episode... We'll do the odds and ends of what's left over in the fountain dome. I wanted to say terrace, but um, again, we're not even near the terrace, so uh, yeah. Until then, that's when I see you. Mm -hmm.